Now, why I bother with all this? Every Labor Day, I close this place up, and I swear I'm never going to spend another summer here. Somewhere out there, someone is waiting for me. In somebody else's arms. And he's not even going to be here. I don't know why I just don't leave Jeff the house in the settlement. He can't. Lillian, for six months you've shown great restraint and class. It's disgusting. The guy did a terrific disappearing act. He didn't just leave, you know. He did leave a note. He's 30 years old. And every man I meet, I find myself thinking in terms of could I spend the rest of my life with him. It could be worse. I am 18 years old and the only virgin in the Western Hemisphere. No, that I do not find the news depressing. Just once. I would love to be on the receiving end of somebody saying, You're incredible. I have to get to know you. Fred's seeing other women again. Uh, Fred's always been seeing other women. Oh. Thank you, dear sister, for reconfirming that. What about you? What do you want? Well, I, I want not to have to take a drama mean every time I go on an elevator or get into an airplane. Or a rocking chair. Anyway, moms aren't supposed to have wants. Oh, yeah? Where did you hear that? I have wants. Two of them. I wanted to say something very important to your father, and I never got a chance to. Goodbye would have been nice. Close. Mom, what's the other one? Oh. Well, I knew a guy once in, in college. He used to live down the beach. Ben Scott. Who is Ben Scott? An artist. His door and window used to face mine. And whenever he wanted to see me, he would take a paintbrush and he'd leave it in a glass of water and put it by the window. I want what I missed. I'm not. You know, I was hoping I'd bump into you. I heard you were back at the beach house. I am. You still have your house? Yeah, I moved back in. Started up a little business. I sure like your work. Thanks. But this is my play. You know, if you got a minute, I can show you my work. Yeah, got a minute. 
Okay. So, as you can see, we make toys for the, the rich folk. My partner handles the business, and I handle the fun. You sell them? Me, no. <laughs> I test fly. Come on. Be careful, you sell What? You don't like to fly? Oh, I love it. Great. Come on. Step right up in the black. I step right up there. That's it. I didn't know they made planes so little. Oh, this is an experimental model. You sit right here, right into the parachute. Oh. Great. Watch your head. usually comes for dinner, yeah. Oh, I already have planes. Plans. Well, my loss. Some other time, maybe? Oh, sure. I'll drive you back. Well, see you by the car. Sometime. You can't spend your whole life hiding from me. Summer. 
the, the pressure to be tan. I don't tan. I, I white. No one stopping. Oh, I must need something else. Oh, it looks great. She looks great. She looks... She... She looks real. I mean, in the right light, she would make one hell of an evening. Right. You can lighten the background. I tried calling you all weekend. And add some more graffiti. Um, think Niles Perry. You got the tickets? Front row. Oh, Stanley! <laughs> oh, Stanley, you deserve a Nobel for this. Hey, it helps to have connection. <laughs> de mi asqueroso puerco. I don't have any idea what it means, but Claudia's mother taught us we're supposed to say it if we run into sailors in South America. You got another letter from your father. You, you read it. I don't want to hear any more junk about how it's not my fault he left. It's not your fault. Fine. Look, I'm not going to try and justify his actions. But I know that he loves you. Right. By the way, Ben Scott called. You're kidding. No. Kidding is reserved for death, famine, and war. Not your mother's social life. You really expect me not to go out with other men? Mom, if you were really upset about Dad leaving, you wouldn't be going out so quickly. some errands. I, I do do that occasionally, you know. Looking good for those errands, Mom. We will go with you. Well, fine, then we'll go to the market, we'll go to the drugstore, and then we'll go to the cleaners. Oh, sounds like a party-hardy time to me, Annie. Pass. Wait, Mom. When will you be back? Annie, when I ask you when you're going to be back, you always say, don't be a drag, Mom. Don't be a drag, Annie. I'll be back later. Bye.
jog in this weather? I'm impressed.